Oh, and they're off. So men's division five is underway and that's a very very wide line from cats off the start that's a little bit concerning univ are st uh, sorry lincoln two are sticking very well to the racing line so they will easily get half a length off cats off the start meanwhile we've got trinity uh, holding station with lincoln two and braze nose two we have bailey old two with those red bucket hats that are gaining somewhat fast on braze nose two that's maybe down to three quarters of a length between bailey old two and braze nose two meanwhile bailey old two are being chased somewhat hard as well by new college two at bung line six yeah a really shocking start really shocking start from st catherine's and you've always got a question what was going through the cox's head maybe just a slip up we see there just coming into shot uh Bailey, as uh, as uh, as was mentioned but being chased hard chased hard by the likes of new college uh, bennett hall going with them as well so it's all kicking off and uh, i'd love to see the camera shot there we see it we see uh we see the likes of Bennett Hall there chasing down, very running very close there, running very close to the uh, to the bank, and it looks like they're just having a little bit of well, issues. Yeah, there. it looks like looks like Trinity clipped the bank slightly, and I wonder whether yeah, I think that's a concession from Trinity. I just about to see a, a hand raise from Trinity, so uh, sorry from Lincoln. So Trinity two have bumped Lincoln two, so that's the first bump that we see in this division. Um, we see New College taking a very Oh, they've gone for a swipe and they missed. I think they're going around to take another go again. That's oh, but actually new college are being chased very hard by St. Bennett's. Let's really stick with these three, three crews of Bailey Old, New College and Bennett's because this is one heck of a three boat sandwich. Who's going to bump whom first? Ah, that's New Ooh. College. New College have conceded to St. Bennett's. What a so fantastic new college. An awesome rule from St. Bennett's there. And do you know what? I think it was that wide line that uh, the new college were trying to take to get Bailey. I think cost them. It both cost them the bump and it cost them their uh, position um, in uh, in uh, in this men's division five. You Absolutely. see, they're just coming onto screen here. We've got uh, University chasing down uh, chasing down Martin. That should be a tussle to follow down the bank. But really, a really strong performance there from, from Bennett Hall coming out the bank. And again, a costly performance from Martin. But I think that'll be one to track as we get down the line. I guess I think, uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, Bennett Hall and, uh, and Balliol, sorry, Mar uh, New College and Balliol, I should say. New College and Balliol, we'll track that as we get down the course. And potentially there are some of the crews who have already done the bumping, sort of uh, interfering with the crews racing down the line as well. Yeah, I wouldn't call that interference. I'd sort of say that's a very dodgy racing line from Merton College there. So <laughs> I'll point out two things. So one, uh, it's not all over for New College. They continue racing and they might then be able to go on and bump Bailey. Ah, you see there, so New College have bumped Bailey all. So actually that means that Bennett's Hall have got a chain bump on Bailey all. So Bennett's Hall will go up two. Bailey all are down two so far. Um, Merton took a very, very... I can only describe as weird line through the gut there. So that allowed University to catch up with them. Merton then did um, very slightly tussle blaze with a crew that had bumped out. I think it'd be interesting if we stick with camera three, because I think what's going on between Merton and University is probably where the meat of the action is going to be in the rest of this division. So if we can try and take a look at Merton and University, yeah, brilliant. I was going to say there, St. Catherine is looking really strong, a really dominant performance from them, looking set to be uh, winners of this division, but also bumping up into as the sandwich crew into men's division four, which will be uh, taking place at quarter past three today. But a cracking, a cracking shot, uh, this one of the rest of the field. But as we head back to that new college camera shot, it's uh, we've still got some close racing going on. Yeah, so actually what we can see right now is we've got um, Brazenose 2 gaining somewhat on Lincoln 2. So, you know, they started off about three and a half lengths away. And at the crossover point, which is about maybe a minute and a half before the finish, they've actually managed to reel Lincoln in to maybe about a length or so. So if Brazenose can keep it up and keep that really good rhythm, they might actually be able to bump Lincoln and send them down two places in one day. So I think this will be the other interesting uh, final bit of the division is uh, Lincoln 2 versus Brazenose 2. Yeah, spot on. And I love this camera shot as it just pans around here. We can get a really good indication as to uh, as to where the crews are. Still about a length or so of clear water separating these two crews. So is it is it too much to be um, to be made up in this last sort of hundred me couple of hundred meters or so? I think it probably is unless we see a big a big final surge from the likes from uh, from Brazenose, but uh, but nothing's nothing's ruled out at this stage in, in Torpids. 
No, so if this was men's division one or women's division one, I'd say, yeah, this is pretty much over and it's a row of both crews. But in the middle divisions, and time and time again, we've seen this with some very chaotic divisions in the middle of the uh, racing schedule, anything can happen. If you look, there's some, I think Brazenose have maybe slightly kind of lost their rhythm a bit. You can see there's a lot of dirty water being kicked out by the blades. You know, Lincoln are rowing fairly tidy, but maybe not that fast. Brazenose, I think, are trying to put in as much power, but that's not translating into a level boat and pushing to Together. So all the effort is going to be going to waste for Bray's nose, and it might allow Lincoln to survive by the skin of their teeth. Yeah, I think you're spot on. I think uh, I think some very good gamesmanship from the from the Lincoln Cox sending those puddles down because it'll just be offsetting. It'll be offsetting that uh, that Bray's no crew, and we see there just out in the distance, uh, St Catharines. They look to have uh, crossed the finishing line. A great performance from them. A really a really dominant row from uh, from them pulling away from Lincoln. We can see it there on. On screen, St. Catharines, of course, they'll be the sandwich crew bumping up to Division Four later on down the line. We see coming in two shots as well, still in the bucket hats. They haven't lost any of those. It is uh, there's Balio, and I think actually Balio got bumped by Merton. So that you could just see at the bottom left of the shot, um, Balio basically stopped rowing. Their their um, bowman wasn't taking a taking a shot at all. But yeah, the two man of Merton there is uh, celebrating by uh, putting puddles into the air. So. I presume Merton bumped Bailey all there. So um, if we could probably stick with camera four, actually, because we'll be able to see what happens with Merton and Univ at the end of the division. So we see oh yeah, Merton bumped out and Bailey all. So the last two crews we'll see are Univ and Regents. Now, to be fair, Regents have made a bit of an impression on Univ. I don't think they're going to be able to get them before they reach the finish line, but it is looking, it's always deceptive when the camera's zoomed in, but it is looking <laughs> fairly close between these two crews. But I, I mean, Univ are looking around slightly panicked interesting steering there from regents park you see regents steering really hard to the right but actually you know sometimes you need to have that conviction as a cox to stick to your line and mow them down over the finish line well maybe not mow them down but you know go for a beeline of contact at the finish line yeah absolutely i think it was close i think it was going to be really close but you know i think i don't think regents park were able to quite get overlap there so a, a strong surge at the end a really strong sprint from them but i think not quite able to uh, to catch uh, catch the crews in front of them, but uh, a really stellar performance from them, given that they uh, they've already raced today, they've already got a race under their belts. So uh, to be out racing against a full credit to them, 